Morning, everybody. Morning. We are here at Conker's Caravan and Camping Club site, along with Poppy, the van dog, obviously. And we're here for a specific reason. Oh. But more about that and more about the site later. Roll the intro. We are here in the Midlands to have the van ceramic coated and you might ask why have we come all the way from Norfolk to the Midlands to have the van uh, to have this process done on the van well there are polishers in life and non-polishers in life and Scott is a non-polisher in life so please tell us all about it why we've done this and come all this way to have the van ceramic coated yeah, it's true. I don't like polishing things. Um, you know, I'm more of a, of a, a sort of IT techie sort of guy, really, rather than sort of manual labour. <laughs> but uh, the uh, the truth is, the product was advertised. We saw it on uh, on one of Steve Radford's videos, actually. And then the company that does it was verified in uh, with some confidence from Here We Tow. Uh, both these sources are trusted rec recommends for us. Um, and coupled with the fact that um, I looked at the valeting costs over five years, and this process lasts for five years, uh, and worked out that actually it wasn't, so though it's an expensive uh, item in the first instance, it actually equals itself out over mm. five years what you don't spend on getting a valeter in. So, um, so over the van ceramic sealed, and basically what this company does, and it's PP Protect, who, by the way, we don't, we're not advertising for, oh. it's, we've paid and for we've fully for paid for everything, yeah. Yeah, we're just a customer. Um, so it basically, they, they take the, the van back down, get rid of the grime and the film on it, because we've had it a year, but it's been through the Outer Hebrides, to Mull, around the south of England, mm. all through the, the East Anglia. So it's, it's had a fair run. I think we worked it out. We've been out, since lockdown ended, about 120 nights um, we've been in the van. So it's had some usage. So we, um, yeah, take, take all the grime off, take it back down to the original paintwork, build it back up, and um, put this protective ceramic coating on. Uh, it means you don't have to polish for five years. It just needs a, a good wash. Uh, it shines brilliantly. And they don't just do the paintwork. They do the windscreens. They do the, the wheels. And uh, the only thing they can't do is uh, rubber and soft plastic. So the van looks amazing outside. Yeah. And it's coated now. So it protects against swirls in the paintwork. Yeah. And uh, sort of makes it easy to get off tree sap and bird lime. Yeah. So we're, we're hoping that the product works well. And as I say, it's, it's well recommended by motorhomers. So... So we'll put the details of the company who did it in the uh, in the in the uh, details below. But uh, up to now, it stood here, uh, gleaming, shining, and we'll show you some pictures. It looks better than new. It does. Good morning. We're at uh, PP Protect, uh, which is a place in Swaddling Coat in the Midlands to have the vehicle uh, ceramic coated and polished, um, looking like a, a really interesting day. Looking forward to seeing what it looks like when it's done and um, I'll show you the results but at the moment the van uh, is looking a little bit uh, worn having had it on the road for a year and so it's recommended and we're hoping it'll do well. So this is the unit popular with Teslas. Should be good. So you might ask what deal we did to make Martin's life a little bit easier. Well, we had the inside of the van done as well. And perhaps the most interesting part of it was that we had it sanitised. So they put in a special machine that puts, I can only describe it as a, as a gas, uh, but watch the video that's coming up shortly and we'll show you. And that cleans and sanitises all the surfaces. So it gets rid of all the bacteria, all the nastiness that you might have picked up over the, your many travels that you've been on. Um, and the added bonuses, it makes the van smell absolutely gorgeous. We are completely um, won over by this process. Um, it's been very professionally delivered and there's absolutely no sign of any damp left in the vehicle when we've finished. So, um, yes, thoroughly recommend both processes. Yeah, it's, it's a proper product designed for this purpose. And um, and it's um, when you watch the video, you think, oh, it looks like it's on fire. Actually. Yeah. It's, it's like a grey <laughs> smoke that goes through it. But it's something that uh, Caravan and Motorhome and Balloters do when they're, when they're uh, turning around to second-hand vehicles. 
uh, to get rid of any sort of residual um, odours in the vehicle and any residual bugs and mm. germs. And mm. certainly, if you've been abroad and you've brought any nasties back, it'll get rid of those. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, yeah, it is. It has been worth it, and I didn't take much persuading because it yeah. really is a good process. So particularly with animals, it's not yeah. a bad thing to have done every. Yeah. And the added thing is, it's completely pet safe. So whereas you wouldn't have anything. Um, you wouldn't, obviously wouldn't be in the vehicle and the pets wouldn't be in the vehicle when this process takes place. Um, after it's finished, it's completely safe for both you and your pets as well. So there's no danger to them either. Yeah. So everybody's happy. Yay. So back to the site at Conkers. It's everything you'd expect from a caravan and camping club site. Good facilities, um, flat pitchers, really nice place to be. Um, very good motorhome service point, I have to say, which we don't always get, so that's really good. Uh, but more importantly for us, and we were only there a couple of nights, but we still managed to explore Col Cabby, which is a National Trust site, which has got a great house and interesting gardens to look round. We can also recommend the Wheel Inn, which is a pub in Hartston, which is the next village down, and we'll put details in the link below. But uh, one of the other good things, if you've got a dog, if you like biking, running and walking, is literally straight outside the gates, you're in the National Forest with some really well marked and well signposted paths for you to run, jog, walk around, whatever you want to do. And here's Martin to tell you a little bit more about it. So I'm right now in the middle of what is called the Conquest Circuit. Uh, and the campsite's right sort of on the edge of it. And it travels around what ultimately is the centre of the National Forest and um, about a thousand acres of woodland park that you can uh, use to your leisure and right at the middle is the Conkers Discovery Centre uh, haven't been in um, because obviously I'm dressed for running and I'm halfway around a run and I'm really just exploring the area this morning but really um, I'm sure looking at the families going in it looks like it's uh, does what it says on the tin it's meant to entertain and uh, give you some sort of discovery um, but the, the things to do here are quite good there's a nice walk around the lake, there's the Diner uh, Prince of Wales Memorial Woodland, the Church Gresley Ward in the Myra Furnace, which is the historical industrial museum. Um, so it, it just join on and link up to all the Suns Transnational cycleways, so you can get here from elsewhere. Um, so all in all, they've done a good job here, I'm uh, quite enjoying it. I've got to say all around here, the signs are really good. There are basically hundreds of, of yards of tracks and trails and signposts and maps on them all so you can't get lost and it's easy to find your way back to Conkers. I'm really enjoying this morning, it's really a tip top location. So here we are back where we started, about a four and a half mile route around the uh, the area, uh, back to the campsite and uh, very happy, very nice morning, the sun's shining. So that's us signing off from Conkers. Um, it was a, a bit of a flying visit for us, but uh, if you do fancy visiting, it's really worth it. Um, good location and everything else. If you're considering um, having your van ceramic coated and you want any more information uh, about the company, about the process, then check out the links below or please ask us any questions and we'll get back to you as, uh, as quick as we can. So that's it from us. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Please click the notification button and you can also follow us on Instagram. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.